Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. So, we are back at Publish Farm today. We're going to be hitting M Lake again today and tomorrow. Uh, two days back to back fishing M Lake. I've got peg two today and peg one tomorrow. Um, the weather is actually looking a bit better. It's a bit, a little bit cooler, a bit more overcast. Got a few new products that I got yesterday. Um, we'll go through them in a bit. And yeah, it's a nice, fresh morning. It's not cold, but it's not you know baking hot yet. Um, yeah, so let's see how the day goes. I'll get set up when they let me in, and we'll get on with it. <laughs> Farm on the M Lake today. Um, I'm on peg two. Uh, I'm keeping it down because there's a chap just to my left and a couple of chaps opposite on pegs five and six. So, so you know, I'm gonna try and keep it down today. Um, just cast out. Um, I'll show you the swim. So it's a nice little peg. Um, I've just got one cast towards, well, in between the two yellow markers, and then I've got one just probably around about here, probably about a foot or two off the bank. Um, just like to say a massive, massive shout out to England Angling, uh, just on the A64. Um, I was looking for some new kit and popped down yesterday and saw Mikey and Tim and you know they proper sorted me out i got three new rods which is the nash x series i got the 350s so mine are 12 foot three pound test curve and they look absolutely mint um i'm going to be doing a review on them you know in a maybe a month or two but definitely definitely you know if you if you're fishing in york or you know you're local to york or you're coming to york to fish definitely check out England Angling just off the A64 opposite the Highwayman Cafe. Um, they'll definitely, definitely sort you out. And Mikey, obviously, I, I've known him for a, for a little bit of time um, as I've always been, you know, going into England Angling. But if you're after a deal and, you know, some great discounts, definitely, definitely check out England Angling. I'll put a link in the description to their website and um, also a Google Maps link. But definitely be sure to check them out. So yeah, back on the bank, hoping for, you know, a bend in the rod. Like I say, I'm testing my brand new rods, literally christening them today, so yeah, hoping to get a bend in the rod. Um, and that's really it, I've got two days ahead of me, I've got today, and then I'm back tomorrow on peg one. Um, I've actually cast out, I've had a couple of bleeps already, and I am using back lead, so there's definitely fish in the area, and you can see them bubbling and fizzing away, so... Um, yeah, it's cooler today, a bit overcast, you know, which is, I like that, but it's not cold, so, and I do think the sun is going to be popping its head out later, so I've got some floaters with me, I've got some of the um, sticky krill 11 mil floaters, um, and also while I was in England angling, I picked up a, a couple of the fox bolt bubbles, um, in the large, you get two in a pack, so I picked up a pack of them. Um, yeah, see if we can get some going on the top today. Now I do have the Corda interceptors, but I just I think they're a bit big because I've got the large and I've got, well I say large, I think they're coming like 50, 60 grams and then I think the large one's 80 grams. I think I've got the 50 gram one um, and it's quite big and cumbersome. Whereas looking at the Fox Bolt Bubble, it's just, you know, a little bit more compact and obviously you can take one of the bungs out and put, put some water in it, you know, just to create it a bit heavier and give it a bit more of the bolt effect. Um, so, you know, if the chance arises later today, we'll definitely be getting back on the, uh, the floating game. Um, as you'll see from my last video, there was literally all over the shop. I wasn't prepared enough for, for float, float fishing as such, but today I've got made sure that I am. I've, now I've got my new rods, I've actually taken one of my old 
uh, TF Gear Banshee rods in the two and a half test curl and that is now a dedicated floater rod. Um, I re-spooled one of my old uh, Omnix free spool reels with some dedicated floater line and that will stay in my rod bag now as a fourth rod but you know the floater option. Um, so yeah, let's see how today goes shall we and see if we can get a bend in the rod. Right, well. Lovely way to open the count today. This lovely, lovely fish. Come on. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Poorbridge Farm, M Lake, Common. Absolutely beautiful. Show the other side. Come on. Sorry about the aeroplane, just to start you know, doing an update. Um, so, as you'll have seen, we had a lovely 10 pound um, common, a uh, beautiful fish. Um, get quite a good fight, surprisingly. Uh, I've noticed that with the fish in here, that they're always you know, giving it what for, if you like. Um, nothing since then. Um, I've put the rod back on the same spot, which is you know just over to my right which is just onto an island um, tied to that and you know just put another handful of uh, bait just around it yeah just a handful of bait around it some free offerings um, yeah so that was a, a really nice fish really happy to catch it as last time I was here I did blank and finally happy that you know you guys have Got a fish to see finally. Um, anybody that's new to the channel, um, if you don't know, this campaign I'm on is the campaign for the 20. Um, we've come very close last year in December with an 18.5. Um, that was from Elvington Fisheries, and I know there's 20s in here. There isn't necessarily loads, or you know, I don't know exactly how many they are, but I definitely, definitely know there is some in here that go over to, over 20 pound. Um, so I'll just take this campaign with me wherever I go, whether it be here, Syndicate, you know, any other day ticket lakes that I'm on. Um, I've got today and tomorrow. Today I'm in peg two. Tomorrow I'm uh, in, actually in peg one. Um, so, you know, hoping for a couple of a couple of bends in the rods over the next couple of days. Um, so, yeah, I think that's really it for now. Um, that one was caught on a... Actually, it was a bait works. Uh, the 10 pounder was caught on a, a bait works. What is it now? Atlantic heat. Uh, just with a with a white small 12 mil pop up. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what that one was caught on. Um, it's gone warm at the minute. There's fish showing all over the shop, but it is quite muggy and warm. Um, as you can see behind me there. I've got the floater rod set up and now I've you know got my new rods which are now you know christened with one fish so so far so that's good. Um, my old two and a half test curve rod, one of them is now going to be a dedicated floater rod. Um, so I've got one of my old free spool reels just um, with some floating you know dedicated floater line and then my new fox bolt bubble that's on there and then I am um, you going to be using the sticky floaters, the krill, um, 11 mil. I got the bigger ones, but my god, these smell absolutely divine. Um, so yeah, when that sun comes out and they start cruising, see if we can get some, you know, going on the top and maybe nab one off the surface if we can. Um, I'm properly equipped now for uh, floater fishing, if you like. Um, Done some testing, you know, of um, the hook setup and how it sits with it with a floating bait, and I've got that, you know, pretty much nailed down now. So I'm fairly confident if, you know, the chance arises and we can get them going on the top, and you know, they're taking. If they do take my bait, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'll be able to, you know, hook the fish and, you know, without spooking them. Hopefully, um, as you know, it's a, it's a it's a game of chance and confidence. So. 
Um, when I say confidence, I mean the fish feeding confidently uh, and competing for the food. But yeah, so it's been a great day so far. The sun is going to be coming out, which might bring them up off the bottom a bit more. Um, so I might explore, you know, zigs, fix zigs. Uh, well, I say fix zigs, it's a running rig, uh, running lead only on this lake. So um, it'll be a fix zig as in non adjustable, but you know, my lead will still be uh, a running lead. Um, so yeah, hopefully, as you can see, that sun has just come out. Um, we get there uh, nice and toasty. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, see how the afternoon goes. It is now oh, 10 to, oh, 20 to one, sorry. So hopefully, hopefully, we might have another fish to show you. There, it on your finger, and just rub it on the hook hold. Do that for every fish, put a bit of water on it, just seals it. There we go, lovely little one. Let's get him back for the next one. Lovely, lovely fish. Beautiful, lovely mirror from Emily. It was fast. Right, well, hello, welcome back. So, it's been a busy morning for me. Um, obviously, I was just about to do an update and from a fish that I'd caught and now I've had another fish so we are on three for three uh, not lost any fish so far today which is uh, really good and you know I'm just super buzzing that I've had some fish today you know um, I like to get out you know I like to go out fishing even even if I blank I'll still go um, and today's come up really well for me um, the same spot for all three fish um, that wasn't me, that's another angler. Um, same spot, just to my left of the island. Um, tie it in, and I've just been putting, you know, little handfuls, well, catapulting um, little handfuls of, of, of different coloured boilies out there. Um, and yeah, so the rod went again. Um, lively, lively fish. Uh, beat me a little bit up on the mat. That's why, you know, it's always good to have a thick, thick padded, um, you know, well, in, in, on the M Lake, you need to use a, a, a cradle or high sided mat. Um, I've got the NGT pop up um, pop up cradle, and you know the um, the mat itself is probably you know about that thick, um, which you know is, is more than suffice. Um, I, I do prefer the the pop up cradles as you know it's less to carry, you know less less bulk to carry. Um, but yeah, so super happy today. It's been a been a great session so far. Um, obviously, the day is definitely not over yet. 
and I put the rod back on the same spot so we'll uh, see what happens. I haven't had much, well I haven't had anything on my left hand rod which is uh, to the, towards the same island but just to do it off to do the corner so who knows why that's not the case. I've, I've been really chucking it to the same spot. Um, well yeah so let's just uh, see what the afternoon brings for us. Uh. As you'll just seen, I've just had fish number four. Um, that one put up a really good scrap, and I mean a really good scrap. Um, fortunately, picked up, well, picked up my other line. Even though I'm using back leads here, he just managed to get under it or, or something and uh, picked up it up. And I expected it to be a hook pull, you know, with it being tangled. Um, so I just, you know, dropped the bail arm, well, opened the bail arm on the other rod took it off the alarm and just let it, um, you know, let it take the line. Um, got the fish safely, and as soon as it was in the in the net, I uh, took the rig off uh, using the quick chain swivel, un unclipped the uh, the rig, the hook and the bait, and then took all the line out, um, tried to have a, a see if I could uh, rescue it, but uh, that wasn't happening. Um, it was mainly this bit here, um, that bit there, there's like 20 knots or something like that. So best thing to do, just cut where you can, get you with the line, cut to as far as you can. Now most of you'll know this, but please take this home with you or, you know, dispose of it properly. Um, a lot of fisheries now have line um, recycling um, facilities, whether it be a bucket, you know, or, you know, a bag or something. Most places do have this because this obviously can be a massive danger to wildlife, whether it be birds, you know, if it gets blown back in, fish can get snagged on it. Um, so literally just wrap it as much as you can. Just stick it somewhere in one of your buckets or, you know, one of your bags. Then get rid of it, whether you, you know, best the best way to do it is, you know, through line recycling. There's uh, lots of them about failing that. You know, tie it in a bag, put it somewhere, get put it in a bin properly, um, chop it up as much as you can, you know that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so it's been a relatively good session for me today so far. Um, four fish landed. I didn't expect to land the fourth. I thought this is definitely going to, you know, be a hook pull. Even though that rig is barbless, um, I expected to get a hook pull, but I didn't. Luckily, so it's been a bit of a you know, a great session for me today. Um, I took the time, you know, got all my kit, I didn't lose any of the kit, so I got my hooks, both sets of hooks back, I got both back leads back, both leads, um, my cook chain swivels and um, my um, rubbers, you know, the lead clips, if you like. Um, so yeah, uh, luckily I haven't changed my line yet, I've just got some extra set. Thanks again, England Angling, um, to re-spool all my rods with. Um, but I haven't done it yet, as I only got it yesterday and I didn't really want to do it last night, so I'll be doing that at some point. So I just thought, you know, keep the same line on for today and tomorrow, and then uh, I'll do it one day in the week. Um, yeah, so 
it is super warm as you can see i put the bivy not the bivy the shelter up you know i always go on about the shelter but it can help just as much in you know the hot humid some sunny weather as well as it can obviously in the rain um the rays are harmful if you haven't got sun cream you know the sun is is powerful so you know always be prepared whether it be thin long sleeve tops or you know put a bit of cream on i had i have always got one of the tiny little travel size um sun creams in my bag you know normally around 20 30 you know um factor um and it's just always in one of my side pockets just because you just never know what's going to happen as you'll have guessed i'm one of these guys who always prepares for the unexpected as it were as much as i can so i've always got that in my bag um and yeah it's been a brilliant day uh, a couple of the other lads that are on the lake have had fish as well you know so that's always good to see um as well as obviously me having four, which is, you know, I'm over the moon with them. Um, you know, nothing's going to reach the £20 mark on the campaign that we're on, but who knows, you know. I've had constant bleeps on the same rod, you know, after I re-tied all my rig up and lead and everything. I cast it back to the same spot and I've had nothing but bleeps. It has died off a bit now. I think it is roughly about, yeah, it's 10 to 4 now, so whether it's dying off a bit or... You know, um, I've just gone quiet on that spot. I don't know, but there's definitely fish still about the area. There's fish all in front, bubbling and fizzing away. So only time will tell, I guess. But it's just how it is, I suppose. You know, you win some, you lose some. As you guys have watched my videos, I'll know full well I have had a lot of blanks. Um, so today to have a nice session with four fish so far is, you know, I don't think I could have asked for anything more and it is also nice for you guys that do, you know, take the time out of your days to watch it, you know, whether you're sat chilling or whatever, to actually see me putting some fish on the bank and, um, yeah, so thanks a lot to you guys that are subscribing, obviously, without the subscribers these videos would be, uh, well, without the viewers and subscribers these videos would be just a personal diary for me to re-watch so I'm quite happy that there's some on there for you guys that you guys can enjoy and see so yeah um, keep us updated uh, who knows could be a couple more in it yet or even one more and yeah we'll uh, catch up with you in a bit Everybody. welcome back so not a lot going on right now I say not a lot as in no bites I've had a lot of beeps um, still on the same spots uh, basically both bottom bait rigs that have uh, done the business today um, one was uh, like I said um, bait works um, Atlantic heat with tops off with just a little white um you know pop up 12 mil pop up and and the other one was again on a bottom bait uh, just a standard hair rig the first one was a slip d style with a um micro ring swivel and then the baits just flossed on and the second one it was just a hair rig uh, with quite a long hair and a 15 mil just got a 15 mil um, I 
on the, on the second rig's got a 15 mil cell. No, it's not. I'm lying. And the bottom one. Why can't you do this? Oh my god. Let's try it again. And the second rig has a mainline high impact, uh, high leakage pineapple uh, bottom bait. And that's topped off with a 12 mil pink pop up. Just a, you know, like an old pink one. Um, and what I've been doing is I've just been putting out maybe a handful of you know freebies and i've been using all sorts of different mixtures colors i've thrown in um some of the bait works atlantic heat uh, i've thrown in some of the high leakage pineapple obviously around the pineapple um also i had some of the rod hutchinson strawberry cream you know just bright baits bottom baits so i've just flung a few a few of them in each time so you know just like a handful uh, of bait but with a mixture of all them different ones in so on the left rod which has got the high leakage pineapple i've just had you know um them and a couple of the strawberry cream and then a couple of uh, i think just in the bottom of the bucket I had some uh, slk um bit of that and then on the other rig which had the uh, atlantic heat on instead of that I've just done that Atlantic heat, a couple of the strawberries and cream and a couple of the SLK just literally pinged out over the top and I've been doing that all day and you know that's what's worked today so so yeah I'm back tomorrow but I'm in peg one now I've been talking to the chap who's been in peg one today and he has had nothing so mm, don't fill me with a lot of confidence and this lake is rammed tomorrow there's literally I think two pegs left and I think it's seven and 12, and they're over, you know, over that way. So even if I wanted to move, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Um, but who knows, you know, you know, the fish might be might be there tomorrow. I mean, the chaps that were there, they're there, but you know, there's nothing taking his bait. So it's one of them, isn't it? Sometimes it happens. I mean, I've had my fair share of blanks. I'm not playing all high and mighty just because I've had a few today. I have had quite a few blanks. Uh, they are, it's like they always say: if the fish out on it, you know they're not they're not taking it. And if, obviously, if they're not feeding there, then it's just how it goes, I guess. But yeah, so we've got about an hour left. Um, I'm gonna start packing. You know, pack the bivvy down. It's it's gone a bit cooler now, so I pack that down. Um, get everything pretty much on my barrow ready with just, you know, my chair out and my rod bag out um, and yeah, we'll be back tomorrow so if I don't update you that, you know, after this or before this, shall I say then um, I'll, I'll see you in the next video
fish number five from today. Angry little fish. There he is. Beautiful mirror. Very angry. Let's get him back. You know, not to cause him too much stress, but these are just some of the fish that are in this place. And you know, really, really nice fish. So uh, we're getting back now. I'll show the other side quickly. Damaged fin this one. Oh, there you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely fish. Let's get him back. Thank you. So yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, please do me a massive solid and you know smash the like button. Also, you know, if you're new to the channel or maybe you do watch the videos and you're not subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. You know, it's it's a big help. Um, you know, it's just you know shows that you enjoy the videos a bit more. You know, with a like, a comment, or you know subscribe and you know if you if you are subscribed and hit the bell icon you know you can stay up to date whenever i release a new video um and it'd be you know much appreciated so yeah to the people that are subscribed already you know thanks a lot for you know sticking with me and you know hopefully uh there'll be many more sessions where i get plenty of fish on them um there's a few trips planned in the future um i'm not going to name them at the minute because plans change but there's going to be some some of the well-known fisheries is going to be coming up on my channel probably end of this year maybe next year because you know covid and all that um but yeah definitely you know keep up to date with the channel you know i'll be releasing videos as often as i can uh tomorrow's video will be going out next week because i'm away so i want to make sure there's a video you know ready for you guys um but yeah thanks a lot and take care uh, stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.